It is one of the only black owned and operated craft coffee shops in the city. And as it works to expand, Overflow Coffee wants to pay it forward to help black, Latinx, and female entrepreneurs get their own start. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman shows us the plan from the South Loop. Ask entrepreneur Brian Jenkins what fills his cup. And he'll tell you faith, family, and fueling the next generation of Chicago entrepreneurs. For me, it's just a sense of responsibility to serve. Welcome to Overflow Coffee. Downstairs, you'll find craft coffee, locally made pastries, and music. But upstairs, you'll find Moxie, a co-working support space, empowering people to transform their ideas into business. Our goal is to is grow black and brown and women-owned businesses. This South Loop building has its own history, too. It's the original home of VJ Records, the largest black-owned record label in the 50s and 60s. We had no idea that the Beatles were brought to the U.S. by VJ. Brian and his team now use this original photo of the VJ team as inspiration. We have that entrepreneurial legacy of, you know, what, what, what VJ brought to the table, you know, in this building. And now this group is fueling overflow to grow. So I want to grow, I want to expand, I want to create more opportunities for people just like me. That opportunity will come through the Summit, a program through World Business Chicago. Overflow will expand here to Austin, Brian's own west side neighborhood here in the Seoul City Corridor, a place that traditionally doesn't have access to black owned and operated craft coffee shops. That's something that we want to be able to change and um, be able to offer a resource like this in the Austin community. CEO of Summer Corps, Manny Flores, will help navigate that expansion. Here in our communities in the west side and the south side uh, of Chicago, we see, you know, we see the need for, for more development. More development from black, Latinx, and female-owned businesses who have a harder time getting capital, but need spaces like this to shine. A lot of communities don't have this, right? And the reality is a lot of communities don't have small businesses. For Brian, it's a passion to pass this space along. We're not only doing this for, for us. In the South Loop. We're doing this with the intention that we can be a resource for others. Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News.